So, hello everyone, this is Carlito Fluito, and I'm spending some days in Oslo, and now I'm visiting, I'm at Bigger, Biggerland Park, which is one of the most impressive places I've, I've been, and I've, I've seen. I, I strongly recommend you to, to visit this place and get to know a bit about Biggerland and Biggerland's work. In particular, for me, what is striking is like, he goes directly and straight to human nature. So, he really wanted to explore what was to be a human being and what to have feelings and to have a life, to realize that one's life is temporary, that one's life has different stages and we are always continuously moving towards death. And what are we doing on this path? Is is how I see it. For me, it's, it's amazing. And technically, is is something you you could never see like coming here and touching the statues. I think he was like so professional, so technically skillful with the with the anatomy. I mean, it's it's impressive just to touch the statues and feel the, the different muscles, the different bones. The, 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 the ears are impressive, noses, everything. It seems like they, they are moving. They are in this constant movement towards, towards this. It's like small scenes in life, in motion. So, yeah, and he put them on a stone, so really. And yes, my, my small advice of today is like, uh, try to get more curious about art, try to develop, try to explore different artists be a sculptors, painter, writers, whatever, musicians, just, I mean, artificial intelligence is right here, so they, they, it will, they will take our jobs. So something probably, it will be more difficult for artificial intelligence to do is be creative and create art, or at least try to understand humans from different languages, you know, like a sculptor or painter. So I think, yeah, from here to some years, artists are gonna be the, the ones that, that have jobs, you know, and it's gonna be ironic because all over history they were like these few people that they struggled a lot to become artists and they were poor, most most of them were just working for kings and then now it seems all of us are gonna have so much free time to do something meaningful with our lives which is create and understand, I think. So it's, it's full of tourists today, but I think yeah, it's a must. So if you come to Oslo, please visit Vigalance Park and develop your artistic impulses and try to deepen a little bit in your perception of human nature. So best, if you like this, subscribe, press like, leave a comment, tell me what you think about art, being creative or practicing your creativity. Best, Carlito Fluito, Namaste, Peace and Love. See ya at Vigalance Park.